Right on time. Well, hello. You must be my model. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. I've left out a few refreshments and a variety of snacks for you during your stay. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marilyn Velveteen. A pleasure. I am a student working towards a fashion degree. I'm grateful that you answered my advertisement for a model. I had begun to worry that no one would respond, and I'd be left to mannequins. While mannequins are helpful in their own ways, I'd like to know how my clothing moves, not just how it looks in a standstill. I apologize if I seem like I'm rambling. I'm very excited to begin working, and whenever excitement hits, the words flow. Please, help yourself to what I have left out while I double-check that I have everything ready for you. Looks like I have everything here. Take a seat. I think it's appropriate to get to know each other more. Don't you think? It makes for a more comfortable experience since we'll be in close proximity to one another. Have you modeled before? No, no, it's not a problem that you haven't. I did put out the advertisement to anyone. I was just curious is all. Someone with your looks, it's a surprise that you don't have prior experience. There's no such thing as a right body type, at least to me. It's how you present yourself with your body and with your face. The expression that you can give the way that you wear a piece and make it come to life, animate it. Comparing yourself to what you see in the media wouldn't be accurate. That's why I dislike mannequins. They're all the same. Same height, same structure, and gosh, they just make you go through so much more to customize it. So... You are providing me a great service, my model. What do you do? I'm so sorry you have recently lost your job at the hospital, and I'm happy I was able to provide you financial stability for the time being. I assure you that this job will be more fun and I'll feed you better food, guaranteed. Oh no, this doesn't have to be a one-time thing. I'm rather taken with you. I would love to hire you on as a full-time model. I feel like we'll have a great connection, which will make my pieces really come together. I assure you, I'll pay you sufficiently. Even more than the hospital. Ah, yes, I am a student, but the fashion department has such a large fund that is at my disposal. All the fashion students' disposal to pay for materials, equipment, and models, of course, since they're essential to our major, after all. I think that's enough questions for now. Let's just hop right into it, shall we? Now, strip. 
No, not completely, silly. You can't expect me to dress you with clothes already on you, now can you? Don't be bashful. I've seen it all. I've taken a number of art classes and also worked with lingerie and boxer models. This is a professional environment. It's just the two of us here. No one else comes in or out of this studio. Uh, all fashion design students have a studio this big. Just come now. The faster you get it over with, the faster you can grow comfortable with it. Believe me. I'll even turn around this time. Let me know when you're done. See, now was that so hard? I'll even put on some fun music to ease the tension. Music just sounds better on vinyl, don't you think? Now, let's get down to it. All right, measurements are done, that's done, that's done, and that. Now, how about we see how this looks and if you have enough wiggle room. Now, try not to actually wiggle. I'm going to be holding the fabric in place with these pins. I'm sorry, did I prick you? I'm so used to working with mannequins these days. Ah, not again, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, again. All right, I don't wanna turn your legs into Swiss cheese now. Let's take a break. Here. I'll let you loose from the fabric from the side so the pins stay in place in the front and back. Okay, you can go ahead and get dressed for now. Oh dear, looks like my record stopped. Oh well. I'd like to show you to your room anyway. Yes, your room. You did agree to be my full-time model, didn't you? When I said full-time, I meant full-time. You're going to be with me 24 hours, 7 days a week. Isn't that exciting? Follow me. We should get you strapped into your stand before the drugs make your legs give out. Hmm, that last pin might have been too much. I'll be right back. Get your feet on the base of the stand, won't you? This stand will give the support you need to stay upright, so I'm still able to work. It would be extremely hard to work with a sitting model after all. I just need to get you all strapped in. Why? This is what you agreed to. If you go back now, I have more drug-soaked pins that I can stick you with that will render your arms useless as well. Have an attachment to the stand that will help me control your arms if need be. I didn't want to resort to the pins mother and father gave me, but when we were talking throughout our time together, 
and we got to the subject of the future, you kept mentioning all of these plans that were outside being my full-time model. I felt like you didn't fully grasp what you agreed to, and that you would leave. So, I did what I had to do to prevent it. Yes, my mother and father gave me these. They are the head doctors at the hospital, after all. They can get their hands on any drugs they desire. Or fire an employee that I've had my eyes on since I visited mother and father for lunch one day. Fire them. Prevent them from getting a job in any nearby hospitals. Render them jobless to the point they have to find work elsewhere. Perhaps through job sites. Job sites that would email of openings they are qualified for. For example, a model without any experience needed, but pays handsomely. I just knew we would connect. Mother and father proved as well, which is why they gave me what I needed. They even paid for our studio. Hmm. I am a fashion student. A self-taught fashion student. Mother and father didn't think I needed college, since, with their money, their status, and my natural talent and ability to learn on my own and quicker than what anyone could teach me. Why bother? All they were worried about is me not being able to find someone and me being lonely in my endeavors. But then I found you. It was perfect. Mother and father adored you. It hurt them so much to fire you. But they knew it was for the best since you were meant to be mine. My full-time model. My partner in life. From this point on, you don't have to worry about a thing. You have me, and you have mother and father looking after you. You'll never have to worry about finding another job, money, even a place to sleep, or what to eat. It'll all be given to you. Mom, oh, please don't try to fight me. I still have so much work to be done. Ah, too slow. A couple pricks on each arm should prevent you from lashing out. We should work on your anger management. I'll have mother and father look into hiring someone. They should be here in about an hour to join us for lunch. I apologize, but you're a bit too heavy for me to carry, so I'll adjust you more comfortably. Until mother and father get here. We're having casserole. It's mother and father's favorite. I'm sure you'll love it too. <laughs>